slow, said, Zillow Hoop. Hello, said, Manny. It's good to see you again today, said, Manny. You want some? Said Zillow King. Good turnip sales. Said Manny. Yeah, I sold like 13,000 at 538 a piece. Said Zillow King. <laughs> Dang, that S is quite a high price. Said Manny. Lucky. Said Manny. Yup, said Zillow King.
Then Zion jamming to hard XD. Said, Nanny.
Mike muted. Said. Texas Man 21. Hello? There we go. Okay. I don't know why my mic wasn't working. It, it wasn't muted. It was OBS. It, it was like not picking it up. I had to switch it. Oh, now I have to fix everything in the audio because now everything's all goofed up. Gosh dang it, OBS. Why you do this to me? But thanks for letting me know, my uh, Texas man. I didn't even notice, like, I thought I thought it was working fine. Appreciate that. Alright, let's see. Hopefully it's picking up everything. Okay, everything looks good now. By the way, it takes a minute, if you want to join me in VC, you can do that too as well. Well, this is done from Nook. It sent a lot of money. Yeah, yeah! So, let's see, let me see who we have here in the chat, because uh, so I noticed a couple of people joined me while I was, like, still starting everything up. Silo King! There we go. Silo King, you are all, I, I knew I saw you around here somewhere. How you doing? It's good to see you again, Silo King. I'm going to be doing some bug hunting, so if you guys want to boot up the game and hunt along with me, see if we can all get lucky. We, you, you might have to, like, you know, set the time up backwards a little bit this way. Otherwise, you're not gonna get any. Bugs. I am here, said Zillow King. I'm gonna do a cakey real quick while he's still here. I am doing good, said Zillow King. Trying to collect all of the cakey songs, and I'm pretty close to getting them all already. I have a very big, decent library already of songs. Um, hmm. I'm thinking of which one I want to get next. I'm gonna get KK Western. I don't know if you have that one yet. Um, uh, Texas Man, KK Western. It's a good song. I don't have it yet, so I'm about to get it. I sit here next to Kiki. Hi, Kiki. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been sleeping. I mean that's what they I don't that's what believe the, I, I do. Know, the villager does. Said Texas Man 21. You haven't gotten all of them? I have country. Oh you haven't gotten Said, Western? Oh, Texas you have Man country. 21. Yeah, I, I send you country. This is Western. This is really good. I'll have to listen to it. I'll make myself so we can enjoy it together. Me all. Now, me, 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 me
Call speed run strats. <laughs> I did you see I did this glitch where I had to like rotate, throw a deck of seat on the floor, and look <laughs> Alright, wrong game. But yeah. That was fun. <laughs> How you doing Mike? Let's give a shout out to Mike Final Boss. He's another streamer and a good buddy of mine. And there we go. Mike Final Boss. He likes to stream classic retro game. He streams a lot of RPGs as well. And he every now and then gets on Smash Brothers. So you guys can join him. It's a lot of fun. It's pretty chill, dude. It's a lot of fun to talk with him and stream. So check him out next next time you see him online. Go give him a quick follow. Let's see now. I apparently unlocked something here. I didn't even notice. Active Island Resident. Oh. Nice, I, this is my 100th day playing the game. Guys, I have played the game 100 times now. Nickname, Gamer. Oh yeah, Gamer, I like that. Pretty good, got five weeks till I graduate. Said, my Yo, final congratulations, boss. congratulations, bro. Graduating from college, is a huge deal. You, you know, you get a sense of freedom once you finally finish college. And like, you know, you, you, you can like... You no longer feel bound to have to like hit the books all the time. You feel less responsibilities on your like less weight on your shoulders. So it's, it's pretty nice. I remember when I graduated from college. It was it was a lot of pretty interesting. I think I liked the most was when you go around um, taking selfies with um classmates that you probably you 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 know you're probably never gonna see again it's a pretty emotional day <laughs> well i hope you i hope you enjoy it i hope you have a good one man when you when your day comes to graduate all right let's begin the hunt so i hope you guys got your game on to hunt along with me so i realized one thing the other day i was hunting bugs that i was doing it with people joining my island this, the bugs, they spawn a lot less when you're playing multiplayer. So I'm gonna try looking for them in single player for a little while before I open my gate. See if I can get a better chance. Also, whoever gets here gets a golden flooring, by the way. Oh yeah, KK, um, Texas man, I'm gonna send you the KK Western so you can have it on your collection as well. So, go ahead and uh, give you your Western. They can have a shuffle in between Western and, and, and Country. Let's see, what's a Western a Western letter? There we go. It's high noon. Th oh, oh yeah, Mike, I don't think you and oh, I have thanks. played Animal Crossing together Said. yet. Texas Man 21. 
How you looking, buddy? There you go. You should get as soon as you get back from the game, you should have it in the mail. You can have a hoe down over in your house with a with your collection of bugs and stuff. Alright, um I should probably update this. <gasps> okay, is this this is a good sign. This is a good sign. A bad sign that I accidentally scared it, but a good sign that there's beetles spawning in the palm trees. Because what I'm hunting Set. down only Texas appears Man in 21. palm trees. <laughs> I'm hunting down only Oh see there's spawning in okay. So see that was the issue I had with multiplayer. There was like barely anything spawning on the palm trees. And I think the reason is because the players are like all scattered around, so the game is trying to like Need load to catch some walking sticks everything now, where everyone is at. Said, Texas oh, Man I got 21. the walking sticks. I got it a while ago. I found it by coincidence. Like I was just walking around and it was just sitting there. Where is it? Here it is. I, it doesn't say when I caught it. There's a very... Okay, this is the window of opportunity to get them. <laughs> Take a screenshot. <laughs> they are extremely rare. Apparently, according to the time. They're not really rare, because if you do, you play within the time period, you'll definitely find one sticking from a tree. But they, the, the windows for, for them to spawn is very small. They only show up between 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. And then they spawn again later in the day between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. And then that's it. You don't see them again. So like, if you're not playing within those hours, you're not going to find any. I just found it by few coincidences. Like I was just playing one afternoon and I found it. Can, and this exact tree you see right here. I've only found one. <laughs> I've never found any more. So I just got lucky, I guess. Uh, okay, so there's also some um, marine critters and, and fish that appear at the end of this month. Um, I could get the info if you guys want to know which ones I could get the info and like post a link so you can see the, the picture Post it on discord on my discord server you know my set on my server. I can just share the link on, on the chat Looking for the bugs <gasps> oh, shh. Okay, oh. I Need to take a better approach of this Yo, I think that was the gold beetle. Oh no, that's the one I need. Oh, I'm being too careless. Dang it, that's the gold beetle. That's the one, the, the one I'm missing. I'm missing the gold beetle and the scarab. The gold beetle appears in the palm trees. Scarab appears in normal trees. So once I get the gold beetle, it's my main focus. I'll go for the scarab. And of course, you can never pass out on catching a fit fish. Ooh, saw shark. Oh, yeah. Just put him in my storage for collectibles. I need to be more careful. That was, I think that might have been the gold beetle. It was a gold beetle or a rainbow stack. They look very similar for some reason. Try the other side. Okay, so how many of you guys have collected already all the the summer stuff? I think I got all the recipes. I don't, I don't, it doesn't look like there's that many recipes for the summer stuff. Let me see. Season 1. Because the, they're going to be gone at the end of this month. Oh, there are a lot more than I thought there were. So I got a, a, a crap ton of seashells. Like, uh, summer seashells. I may have gone a bit crazy saving them. So if you, any of you guys need... A couple, and I can spare you a few. But I have way too many. I have like six. Not sure. <laughs> summer Said. shells. Texas Man Twenty One. Not sure. <gasps> Get over here. This little fellow sells for a pretty decent price. So if you see a hermit crab on your beach, catch it and sell it. Because uh, they're surprisingly expensive. So you can catch a multiple of them and you can get a pretty good deal. The cat is just chilling there. 
What up, kitty? Egg. I can't catch anything. Well, of course not. There's no fish there, man. You don't even have a lure. You're a dummy. Alright, so this here is my grass farm. Time to start farming more grass. My weed. You're gonna go big and like this, and then they're gonna sell. Don't question don't question me. I don't I don't I don't I sell my weed for a good price, but you don't need to know where I sell them or what to do with them. Like just classified information. Let's just say I got uh, I know some people in the game. <laughs> this weed fanatic in the game. Whoa! All the flounders. Probably get this money to money hole before I free it. I have a system where I always bury exactly thirty thousand. Because uh, you get three bags, and the the most common amount you always get is ten thousand bells. If you go beyond that when you bury it, but just a small percent chance that you might get what you buried. So if you bury like ninety nine, you get like ten percent chance or something to like get exactly that. Or twenty percent. I don't remember how much. But what I do, I bury thirty thirty bells, thirty thousand, and if I don't get the lucky chance, then I just get the 30 back in 3 bags of 10. But if I do get it, then I get 90,000. So it's always like 1 out of 4 I chance 30. times Said. I get it. Texas Man 21. 30%? Oh, I mean, that's even better. The higher the better. <laughs> okay, I already got two, 2 of them growing up there. Let's see how much they gave me. If I got lucky. Shake them first, and this one is ten. Oh, well, better than nothing. Go ahead and empty it in my pocket. Become more money. This is what I just get. Uh, I, I'm basically gambling. Is all or nothing, pretty much. I either get it all, or I get. I, get, I either get all the money I, I put back. No, hold on. I'm getting mixed up. I either get the money I, I like invested back, which is like nothing, I don't get anything back, I just get the, the same amount back. Or I get uh, the whole the whole price, which is 90k. Get what I'm saying? Basically I'm doing business with nature. Okay, so I'm gonna bury my, my other miniature here. In there. Get in there, grow big and rich. I have too much stuff in my pockets. I need to undo some stuff. Skyward Sword is trending on Twitter. People want to remake for Switch. Said <laughs> Texas Man 21. I mean, it's possible, like with the Joy Cons, it's totally doable. 100%. Well, it's up to Nintendo, but I don't know. It's a bit of a stretch, assuming that Nintendo's actually doing that. Hold on, I feel like I'm missing something here. I I caught a bug the other day that I had not donated. Don't tell me I sold it. Oh no! Oh hey, he's right here, horned elephant. I'm gonna donate it this one before I forget. <laughs> I got all these bugs here for for making uh, collectibles. Oh, I got way too many of these Roselia. They sell for a lot of money too. Many of these too. I'm keeping track of how many of each I get. But they sell for a lot. What is this? A nibble fish? It's a strange container. Got three coral cans. And a lot of whale fish. Okay, the whale sharks, did, I don't know, they just spawn. Sometimes I get two in a row. They just spawn like crazy in the pocket. 
I mean, my beach. Look at this. I got six of them. Um. So I can show you my collectibles. I see. Just gotta type model, and I can show you which ones I got so far. Not that. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you other things that are not it, but yeah. So I got the Barrett Knife Jaw model. I got the Dat model, the Grand Atlas Moth. And I got the Great White Shark. I don't know why they call it Grand Atlas Moth. When you catch it in the wild, it just says Atlas Moth. So then they give it another name in the model for some reason. Great White Shark, the Honeybee. This was actually the first one I did. The Oarfish. It, I thought it was going to be like really long. So I was going to like use it like kind of like a Weird. fence. Said. Because how long Texas it is. Texas Man 21. But it's actually folded, which kind of, I feel like it kind of ruins it. Having it folded like that. Oh well. Yeah, that's pretty odd. And the Olive Flounder model, which is like the dab, but bigger. And more sandy looking. They used to be the same size in previous games. Now the Olive Flounder is like massive for some reason. But those are all the models I got. Actually, no, those are not all the models. I got a couple more. They're in my mailbox. I ordered them and I never bothered to think about the mailbox. So let's open them. Let's see what they were, because I forget. It's been a while. My mailbox is so cluttered. I've been lazy about it. Let's see. Pre with presents. Gotta look for... Go straight down to the bottom. See, I got so many, like... My that thank you mug is still in here. Oh, like I, I can't even get presents from Texas men in here. And like I think you're. I don't know what it is. Let's find out, Texas men. What have you given me? Oh, never mind. That's what it is. A summer solstice crown. Well, now I know. Deliver Daisy May with a uh, more bamboo shoots. Bunch of Cerus and Cyrus. Okay, here's one. A flick. Bench block. Behold my piece inspired by the snail. Oh, well, that answers that question. It's a snail. So here's a snail model. The snail is at last finish. A snail model. And CJ. Oh, this is just a fish journey stuff. Everyone's babbling about the way you school the fish and turn it. Seriously? 200 net points? Okay. I don't even know that's a gold trophy. It might have been just a silver. I'm not sure. Flick. Here we go. Noble Flea. Okay, I gotta see this. You know what? I'm just gonna take them. Look at this. I wanna see the flea. I do that one just out of curiosity. See how ugly and big it looks. Let's see if I have any more. CJ. You should have seen 300 my points work for this. gold trophy. Said. Texas Man 21. Oh, my pockets are full. Oh, it's a Dorado. A Dorado. 300 points? Oh, I knew it. So I did get only silver. That's what I thought. The, bandi the Bandit Dragonfly. Got a Bandit Dragonfly as well. In there. Okay, that's it. I'm just gonna open these. Does it glow in the dark? Like, it... oh, I don't know if it glows in the dark. Snails actually glow in the dark. So if you have a pet snail, or you have a snail in your inventory, and you you throw it out at night, and just having it laying around, they glow. Put it there. Looks nice. Little snail. And the flea. Put it over here. Oh, I want to get a hermit crab. I'm gonna try to vote for that one next time. Hermit crab lover. Look at this flea, man. It's so disgusting. Ugh. Ew. It's so creepy. Let's get a closer look in the, in the inventory. Model. 
There's the flea. Yo, the flea is so creepy. They're so gross too. Like, look at them. They're worse than roaches. Imagine you see a flea that big just humping, just hopping around all over your bed. Hop, hop. And it just climbs on your back and bites you and drinks your blood. <laughs> and there's a snail. This are nice. I don't know why I like snails. It's just the color, how they glow. And um, how they're like all glisten and shiny. They're pretty. A lot of people probably don't agree with me. <laughs> no, I missed. Did the bell ring yet? Is it midnight already? I did not pay attention. Yeah, it's midnight already. I bet if I go to the set to the plus, I'll kick. He's gonna be like all done singing. If he's even there, he's not even there. He dropped my golden floor. KK Let's turn There it is It's a pretty good song one step closer, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go back to bug hunting. We'll Fusion is my favorite right now. Said Fusion? Texas Man 21. I like KK Fusion a lot too. My fi my most favorites, okay, my top five are Bubblegum KK, KK Soul, um, um, KK Cruisin, um, KK. Oh shoot! <laughs> I mean, they're my favorite, but I don't, I'm not very good at remembering their names. <laughs> What was it? Kiki Blossom for that? What was it called? Dang it. What is this one? Hold on. This is one of her crazy I forget what it was called. Where is it? Bosa. There we go. Kiki Bosa. So Kiki Bosa. Sorry, Kiki Balan is my favorite right now. Said. Texas Man 21. Ballot. Oh, Ballot. Oh, that, that was pretty good too. Kiki Cruising. Kiki Bosa. Kiki Soul. Um. KK Soul. Which one of the other one I said before? Oh, KK House is another one. And Bubblegum KK. There we go. So those are my top five. Bubblegum KK, KK House, Soul, Bosa, and Cruisin. Those are my top five. I just love those there. They're so good. So good. I mean, everybody loves KK. Bubblegum KK. Best. This one's just... It just sounds so... So nice. It's just so relaxing to the soul. Also, it got featured in the in the anime movie. Really cool version. And that's kind of where I fell in love with the song. And of course, Kiki Cruising is pretty cool. And House. I don't know why Kiki House reminds me of a Sonic the Hedgehog, um, the classic Sonic the Hedgehog music. Like, I can definitely hear this playing in a, in a, like a, an old Genesis Sonic game. And then there's Casey's soul. I never get tired of listening to this song. Bing, bing, bing. They're pretty good. There's a lot of good songs in, in here, honestly. And there's a couple of really eh songs. Let's see if we can get the Golden Beetle. Go hunting down with us. How much space do I have? Oh, hold on. Before I accidentally do something with this thing that I don't intend to do, I'm gonna drop it here. I have to donate that thing. Blah! So let's see if we can find. Oh, another balloon. Oh my gosh. 
So many distractions. I just want to catch me a beetle. Where is it? I don't know. If I shoot it now, it's gonna fall in the water. I didn't hit it. <laughs> that would have been bad. And you hate it when like you hit a balloon and it spells in, on the rock in the, by the beach and it just despawn. How the heck am I supposed to get that? Hold on. Just gotta move this real quick. That is like the one spot I did not expect it to land. Also, maybe I move this koi fish back there. That's why. Yeah, look how pretty they look back there. Alright. More iron nuggets. Uh, I, I wish there was a way to like... <laughs> a button or something to have the, the game sort things for you. Oh, no, no, you have to like sort them one by one on your own. I mean, I'm used to it already, but still. Be convenient. Another unwanted beetle. I just got to the Where credits. Does that mean I beat the game? Said <laughs> Zillow King. Animal Crossing has no end. It doesn't. It you don't you don't beat the game. The game beats you. By the time you're old and wrinkly, about to pass away, the game is still there. Chilling. Immortalize on your TV. Playing beyond your life. We're gonna be relieving our youth. When we get old, we're gonna be relieving our youth in Animal Crossing. Do you imagine if they give us the option to make old people in future Animal Crossing games? So it's like, now, if you're old, you can also play as an old avatar to reflect your real age in-game. Animal Crossing. Senior Center. <laughs> that would make for a really weird Animal Crossing. You're just, you're just an old person inside a senior center just wandering around the entire center. We're just... XD said Texas Man 21. Lol said Zillow King. Where's my pudding? I'll be like, what the, imagine they bring the, the craftable feature in the Animal Crossing. You'd be like crafting all the all the foods that old people eat. Pudding, right, um, rice porridge, and ice cream. Because everybody loves ice cream. Oh, and jello. I gotta put a lot of jello. Whoa! It disappeared. Yo, I think the thing is kinda glowing. I'm not really sure. Looks like it is, but probably isn't. There isn't many palm trees over here, so I should probably stick to the west side. I mean, to the east side. Not the west side, this is the west side. What suggestions would you have for an Animal Crossing game? Other than <laughs> my weird one of a senior center. That would be kind of funny. Said Zillow King. <laughs> yeah. It would be really funny. What a smart button. Like, and every Saturday we have like KK's like angsty teen. You know how they have like teenagers replacing the old player, um, the old characters here? Oh, we have Daisy Mae taking over her grandma and CJ and Flick. So we have like KK Angsty Team is playing rock music and he'd be, he'd be using a rock guitar. You senior centers, citizens ready to rock! All the people, yeah! Whoa. Start playing KK, K, KK Metal and all the seniors are like bopping their heads. Cracking their necks, some of them. Or the, okay, things are getting pretty dark. Hold on, I should probably tone it down. <laughs> no, no, get back here. No, money, money. Got it. 
Oh no. Speaking of cracking, I just cracked my net. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and fix my net. My net issue. Animal Crossing, where you live on Decorate a Planet. Said Decorate a Planet. Texas Man 21. Yo, Animal Crossing, like, futuristic. Like, it'll be like flying cars and stuff. And like, Tough. said we be Zillow not just living in one island, but decorating like multiple islands so we can like traverse the entire planet. Wait, not customize. Dang it. All right. So that would be pretty interesting. I, I don't just like I feel like this game would have been cool if they given us the option besides to just visit like random islands if it, they given us the option to actually hop on a boat like right here in the pier just hop on a boat or go the other way animal crossing said the in island. the olden times said go to the other Texas way. man 21 Oh yeah <laughs> animal crossing time traveling or not, no, it'll be Animal Crossing Evolution, where you have to, like, start off from the caveman. You start off from the caveman era, decorating your cave, and, like, hunting down the animals instead of being friends with them. Oh, there's Bob! 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 Ooga! Ooga! And then you become friends, and that starts a new age. What is this? Another sea bass. Uh, why do I even bother? They're so big, they mess around with their size. Keep falling for it. Go away, you. Oh, this. Why are you here? You're supposed to be in regular trees. You guys are hogging the palm trees. I need the golden beetle. I should have planted more palm Time trees. travel people would enjoy that game. Said. <laughs> Zillow King. <laughs> yeah. And trouble people be like, oh man, I don't want to wait an entire week just so I can go to the pyramid era. But you imagine if you actually had like Animal Crossing and like, um. Oh, another one. Yeah. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot what I was thinking. <laughs> it was something about, oh yeah, Animal Crossing historical, historical lineage or something like that. Where you have to like actually live in different points of history. So like, you start off with the cavemen still, because they're part of history. Then you're like decorating the cave and everything, and then you jump to the Egypt, where you're like decorating pyramids, being the king. Instead of a mayor of a town, you're just the the, the king of the Egypt. Whoa, whoa! Another elephant thing. Whatever that thing over there is. Catch it. Okay, there we go. The big beetle over here, hold on. Big a beetle. Big a big a beetle. I need to catch it. And there we go. Whoop! Caught it! I got a horn Hercules! Guess I was stronger! Let's go into my inventory for collectibles. You know what would be cool? Another Animal Crossing idea. Animal Crossing, uh, Animal Crossing Atlantis. Where all the villagers are fish animals and you live underwater. Like you're just a mermaid. <laughs> Is that? Yo, I can't tell. It's a... Okay, it's just that. That, that non-golden beetle. And you can ride, you can ride like... Like dolphins? No, no, because dolphins would be neighbors. You can't write dolphins. You can't write your neighbors. <laughs> but you like Animal Crossing Atlantis, and you're like decorating on the water and living in the water. And you can like actually swim to different levels. Unlike here, where we need the ladder, because we're like grounded here. Or different uh, different Animal Crossing games where they have like different biomes where like that would be cool. You can like 
select your biome and just be like, oh, my Animal Crossing village is in in a volcano area, and you just visit your friend who lives in by a volcano. And you just go to your other friend's island or town or whatever, and he's like, it's like living by a uh, by a uh, an ice place. Icy place is always snowing and icy, and everybody's dressed like Eskimos. You can go adventuring. You imagine they actually like cross over Animal Crossing with like. A farming like simulator like Starbuck Valley. You can actually go around getting materials and fighting fighting I guess scorpions and tarantulas I guess. <laughs> and whatever other bugs want to eat you. Giant centipedes. Why is it taking so long to spawn? It is definitely gonna- it's gonna be like 1am here. And still no golden beetle. I feel like I scared one earlier by accident. Oh! More money. Oh, I got away. That's fine. This one's better anyways. I didn't want to catch that thing. Yeah. I got a horn atlas. I didn't even need a map. I think I'm gonna be full. No, I have one more space. Gotta go de deposit stuff in my house. Looking at something real quick. Uh, all right. <gasps> Ooh, the blue weevil evil thingy. Man, they're all spawning at the same time. All right, so now I'm, full. I'm gonna go to my house now and like uh, deposit some bugs. I'll take the long way there. Here. Now I gotta drop something. But this guy's sell for a pretty good price. Like, no, I'm just gonna leave this shell. I need that. Come on, gold beetle. Nope. Oh, let's go to the store and drop stuff in the box. Maybe I'll find a scarab. Scarabs. I haven't seen a single scarab, like, at all. I don't think they exist. I think they're a myth. Maybe golden beetles are a myth too. Maybe I'm just wasting my time. It's all a lie, man. It's all a lie. <laughs> Do I need anything else? Let's see. Let's build this thing. Look at that. 11,000. And this bugs. It's because of the hermit crabs. Look how much. It's almost 2,000 for them. I get less because I'm selling them in the box, but if I was selling it to the, to the nooks, they gave me like 2,000 bells for, for hermit crab. Imagine how much flick would pay for one. Like 250 or something. Oh, there's also the soft shells. Soft shell turtles. Let's see if this might be one. I'm hoping to catch one. I don't have any. Come on. There we go. And it's a bass. Man, these basses. Fun basses. So let's go and dump stuff here on my house, cause uh. I got too much crap on me. I mean, yeah, I got rid of most of it, but still. More space better, so I don't have to go back and forth too much. Put this in storage. Put this in storage. Also in storage. Put my weed. Put my weed in storage. Do I need clay? Alright, 
let's go hunt more bugs. Yo, like I really want to. I just need those two bugs. Just a scarab and a golden beetle. I don't, I don't know why it's so hard to get, man. It's just bad luck. Is that what it is? Do I have really bad luck? Maybe I should go to another island. I might do that actually. I might have a better chance of going to a random island. I haven't thought about that actually. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna use a Nook Metal ticket and go to another island. Let's see if I can find it there. Let's do that. Let's do that. Go to another island. Hold on. I need to confirm something. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get a nook, uh, a nook mile ticket real quick. I'm gonna go to another island. I okay. Would you guys believe me that? Can you believe that I only been to this random island three times? I don't use it much, and I have a lot of tickets because a friend of mine gave me a lot of tickets. Look at that. I got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 52 tickets. I don't really need. I don't. I don't use them that much. I just have them in case I ever feel like going to an island. I don't use them as, as currency like a lot of people do. <laughs> do I don't go off and them. wither. Said, Texas man twenty one. You didn't either. go off and either. Yeah. Said, I don't, Texas I don't man twenty one. I found a lot of rare stuff oh. on my island. Said. Zilokin. Oh wow, really? What you got? Share the news, man. What you got there? I'm gonna upgrade my uh, net before I go mm -hmm. to the island. Oh yeah, I'm all, I'm all set. I'm ready. Do I have everything? I forgot to have that ugly flea model. <laughs> I must, I must sell that thing. Anyone wants a flea model? I'll, I'll give it to you. Texas man, you want to just in a flea model? <laughs> it's like a a flea but bigger, and it doesn't move. You can just put it there in your collection of stuff. Let's see. I don't want. I found golden nuggets. Said, Zillow King. Yo, you got some golden nuggies. I want some nuggies. Actually, now I'm starting to grab a little bit of chicken nuggets. I haven't had those in forever. My my dad bought a big bag of chicken nuggets, and the the bag literally just says yummy, like a lot of like just a lot, yummy, 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 yummy. So I don't even know if it's a generic bug, a generic like brandless bag of of uh, nuggets, but they're not bad. Ready for takeoff. Chicken nuggets. So, okay, here's a recipe for you guys. If you know how to cook, you take rice. You know how to cook rice, right? Okay, so you make rice. You grab a bunch of chicken nuggets. The frozen chicken nuggets, you defrost them, right? In the microwave real quick. Then you put them in the food processor and chop them into small pieces. And then you mix it with the rice. While you're cooking the rice. And it gives that chicken nugget flavor to the rice. Tastes really good, and if you like, you can even like when you serve it in your on your plate. You can even put a little bit of barbecue sauce and mix it around. It's pretty. It's a it makes for a pretty decent meal. With a glass of juice. It's just one of those. Sounds the, uh, yummy. Said. It's really Texas yummy. man twenty one. <laughs> A friend of mine who used to be my roommate. May try that he sometime. made, he Said, made uh, chicken Texas nugget Man rice 21. like that. Like he chopped it. He didn't use a processor. He chopped it with, with a knife, and mixed it with the, in the rice, and it tasted so good. But that one was a mix of regular nuggets and spicy nuggets, so it was a little spicy. I prefer just regular ones. They can do with spicy nuggets as well. And then when I decided to make it myself, I was like, I'm just gonna chop it in, in the processor because like it makes it. Chopped in really small pieces. 
You mix it with the rice. It's just so good, man. And if you do what the rice, you can do it while while the rice is cooking or after the rice finished cooking. It's up to you. But while the rice is cooking, you pour it in there and just like it mixes with the flavor. I do not have a the, processor, the unfortunately. Said Texas man twenty one. You can also use a blender. Blender is like a processor but bigger, no? What is that? What is that? No, oh, mosquito, get away. No, leave me alone. What is that thing? Oh, it's just a beetle. Yo, I forgot about how much weed these islands have. Excuse me. <coughs> she gets me a bottle of water. Forgot to bring me a bottle of water. Truck's starting to get a little dry. Are there no palm trees here? <gasps> yes, there are. But not that many. Oh man, this is a failed island. I might as well go for the scarab, I guess. There's like no palm trees here. Oh, there's a bottle. Nice. I forgot there's always a bottle on these. Avery. A sleigh. Which I already have. That's unfortunate. Put nuggets in blender. Oh Said. Zillokin. I mean, yeah. The, bl the blender is like... It's like a food presser, processor, but like less powerful, I guess. It's definitely not designed for that. But... Well, not not that it's designed for it. It's like not meant for that, but it does the same thing. Processor in a blender or in, or in a... You put it in a blender instead of to chop. And it'll chop. But it is highly recommended that you use a uh, processor because it does the job better than a blender. The blender doesn't... Probably doesn't do it as well, but it still does the same thing, more or less. If you don't have a blend, uh, blender, it's a good uh, alternative, I guess. Get some peaches. Why do they have to be peaches? Peaches is my home, my town for you. Oh my luck! This island did not work in my favor. Maybe this is why I don't, I don't come to these very often. What is that thing? It's kind of red looking. Oh, it's just a beetle. Yo, why are you all huddled up like that? In the avatars. No. Oh. Spread around. Spread. Spread. You're too huddled up together. You're getting me. You're getting my avatar claustrophobic over here. There we go. So another good recipe. So another recipe uh, that I'm gonna show you with you guys, if you guys like, like cook, like you, Mike. I don't know if you cook. A Texas man, like, if you like um, pasta. So there's a simple recipe that a friend of mine taught me, an old roommate. He takes pasta, the ones like the ones are like like little pipes, like little tubes. I don't know what they're called. Rotatini or something. Like that. I don't know. Pasta like that is like little two like little two pasta. I don't I'm not very good at remembering pasta names other than elbows. <laughs> but yeah. You take that one, um you put when you cook after you cook it, you mix some um, tuna fish, mayonnaise, and uh green peas. It tastes pretty good. Like it's a, a pretty neat recipe. And very simple to make and it's pretty good. Surprisingly, the green peas and, and the, the mix well with the with the mayonnaise and the tuna, and the pasta just like makes it very filling. So it's a pretty simple homemade recipe. <laughs> I I like to when I boil pasta, I like to like put a little bit like garlic powder and onion powder to give it some more flavor. Not too much, just a bit. You know, I thought about something about the flowers. What happens if I, I take out the heads and then I pick them up with a shovel? Will it still like so better like that? I wonder if there's a money money tree here. I mean not money tree, money money rock. That's good enough. 
Oh no, I messed up. No! Well, that was a... That was a no good. You know what? I really don't need this stuff, so I'm just gonna break them. I need some peaches. See if I can get some gold nuggies. One, two. You know what I miss from the old Animal Crossing from New Horizon? When you break the rocks and you get like sapphire or rubies and you can like decorate the... Like paint. And the, the, the furniture. With like colors of the, the minerals. Man, I gotta walk from the rocks, what the heck. So that was pretty cool. I I I think what I liked more was when you take a, a mineral and like use it on the light, like a lamp or something on some kind of light source. They will like they will like change the color of the light as well. Oh yeah, I so forgot I had a about lamp. the different gems. Said yeah, the different Texas gems. Man Twenty One. Nice. So I had like this light this light table lamp, and I changed it to sapphire with the sapphire jewel. And whenever it turned it on, it made the whole the whole house look blue. And if you went outside the house, you could see the the light in the windows. You know when when you turn on the light, it, it shows the light outside. So it would actually show the actual color. The so it would be all blue. And if you change the light the light into a red color with a ruby, it would like show light red light from outside. So it's pretty neat. It's a really neat cool de detail. A little, a little sad that it didn't came. I guess it didn't. Whoa! I actually, caught that thing. I was just trying to scare it away. <laughs> but yeah, like it was a, a little sad that the detail didn't make it. I guess it wasn't that popular. Can I swim while I'm in this islands? Can I actually use my wetsuit? Let me find out. I don't think I've ever done that before. Insert a lurking and cheating here. Said. A Insert star 134. <laughs> I mean, you want to make it official, just type exclamation lurk. And you let everyone know that you're lurking. I can't swim! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. You can also join me in VC if you want a star. If you Everyone visit, with the you Animal can Crossing swim. Can join me. Said, a star one hundred thirty-four. If you visit, no, I'm in the, I'm in a deserted island. I wasn't sure if you can swim in deserted islands. All right, here we go. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. I need to make a diving diving area in my island. We can just dive bomb from the third, third floor. Actually, if I do the glitch to get to the fourth level, I wonder if I can dive bomb from all the way up there. What would happen? Will it even do it? Will it glitch out even more? Now I gotta experiment. Oh my gosh, I forgot I was hunting beetles and there goes a golden beetle. <laughs> no, that's the beetle I need. <laughs> that's the whole purpose of coming here. To get scarab and golden beetle. Oh man. The heck. I'm frustrated. I blame A-Star. She distracted me. Why? Why did you... I'm kidding. It's not entirely your fault. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Why am I fishing? Fishing is not a priority. I don't even need fishes. It's just a habit that I have. whenever I see a fish that catches my interest, I want to fish it. Okay, so. Oh, this thing is in the way. Really bad place. I need the golden beetle. And I. Pretty, I am almost positive I accidentally scared him away just now. Then again, I'm not really sure what they actually look like. So I'm just assuming that was a golden beetle. Could have just been another regular beetle. 
Can I go around from the back? No. Let me terraform. Dang. I don't even see any scarabs popping up. They're supposed to be in regular trees. Actually, the regular the golden beetle appears from 9 p.m. to 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. I mean, the only reason why I'm going so late is because of the scarabs. Those are the ones that appear at 11 p.m. or past 11 p.m. But they don't freaking spawn. I don't know. I might give up on this. <laughs> I might just open the gate and just have a rave party in my island with everyone. There goes that beetle. I mean that eel. I like scaring away every other bug that's not a beetle. That's not the one I, the beetle I want. Make it give it a higher chance to spawn the other beetles. What's the spawn rate for them, though? It doesn't help that there's so little palm trees in this island. I was expecting there would be more. Maybe I should just go to another island. Where's that thing? Why are they- the beetles are so shiny. Have you guys noticed how shiny they are? Sometimes they, the, the lights look like they're a little glitchy all, all around their legs. And how shiny they are. Kinda weird. It's how they get you. They're just shiny. All this talk about shiny. Make me feel like I'm shiny hunting for Pokemons. Except there's all beetles, not Pokemon. I don't actually try any hunt, by the way. <laughs> I don't really play Pokemon that, that just casually play Pokemon. I used to play Pokemon a lot back then when I was a kid, but after after playing Pokemon Sapphire on my Game Boy, I kind of lost interest in Pokemon. It also didn't help that I didn't have a DS. I ended up at, um, skipping through the DS time period because I couldn't afford it. So I couldn't play Diamond and Pearl, because I did want to play Diamond and Pearl, but I couldn't play it. Eventually I got an emulator and tried to play Diamond version, but it was running so slow. It was I couldn't really enjoy it, because of how slow the emulation was. This is not working. There's not nothing spawning. I'm going home. Another regular one. I need Palm Tree Island. That's what I need. An island full of palm trees. The space in the Let's see. Come on. Any scarabs? Ah, great. Come on. Sorry, this is not worth it. Take me home. Bell bottom burger. This is so pocket. Oh, stove top socket wrench. What the heck, guy? What's in here? Burn, burn the, the coordinates for this place. The map. Just burn it. For some reason, like he like burns the coordinates. Like they said in the game, they like burn the coordinates. So we never go back there. I mean, considering how much. Whoa, hold on. Oh. 
There's a bag. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Joe! I feel so stupid. This whole time I'm like thinking, oh, this is enough slot for one more. And I was like thinking they're gonna bring back earrings and stuff, but I forgot that the, the bags, they, they take up space. So if I put face paint, they all be covered. Okay, so all that, that that definitely confirms that the earrings are gonna be coming back anytime soon. That's kinda sad. I'm just gonna wear Hatsune Miku on the page. There you go. I got a broken down Miku on my face. Yeah, they're all covered. There's no space. Yeah, I completely forgot that the, bo the bags take a space. So this definitely means that they're not bringing back earrings. That's a shame. Unless they're like extended by like two more bubbles and bring back earrings and something else. That's a shame. Oh well. This whole time I was really convinced that they were going to bring those back. The earrings and, and stuff from Pocket Camp. But they're not, they're not bringing them back. So sad. Got a message on Discord. Well, it's just someone saying that they'll try to get on later to join me if I'm still on. Oh, well, hopefully for you, I'll still be on when you get on. Check out Discord. Hellman's? What? Hellman's the mayonnaise company? Really? Does someone posted on the on my Discord? Oh, oh it was Texas Smith. Everyone posted on Discord. A tweet from Hellman's, the mayonnaise company, with an island. Hellman's Island is coming soon to Animal Crossing to turn virtual food, oh, virtual food waste into real meals. For each spoiled turnip to drop off on Hellman's, we'll donate a meal. Oh, I read about. Oh, check out the mosquito. I read about that. They were saying that about something about using spoiled turnips for a good cause. Interesting. So I can just go over there and drop spoiled turnips and they'll donate to uh, something. I might do that. I think I, I think I still have all my spoiled turnips uh, laying around uphill. Assuming ants haven't eaten them. Yeah, if you sell spoiled turnips, said Zillow King. If that means you can't sell them, I think they only sell for like a hundred dollars. In the nooks, they buy them for like a hundred bells off of me. Maybe less, I don't remember, but I do they, I do know they do buy them. What is that? Is that is that the golden? No. Oh, hold on. Let's see the golden or a rainbow stag. Be the golden. Please be the golden! It's a rainbow stag. Gosh dang it! <laughs> rainbow stags. Chicken. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff happening in my Discord, but not related to the stream, so I guess I'll ignore it for now. Yes. Right. Oh, I forgot to mute my phone. Hmm. I have a ton of turnips," said Zillow King. Yeah, I have a lot of them too. I'm gonna check them. I'm gonna check to see if they're... the turnips are all right. Cause uh, I know the ants can sometimes like eat them or something. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see.
Alright, let's go check out my, uh, tr my old turnips. I took the long ride there. The long route. I think I can get me a golden beetle. No, I don't want you no more. Oh, let's get over here. No! Never mind, it's gone. It's gone! I'm gonna go up in the hill. That's why I put him. I did like this cool. Well, it's not that cool anymore because I kind of messed it up. It used to be cool. But I did like this whole homemade, like, improvised storage up here. And. I swear I put my turnips so nobody will steal them. There's some more fossils laying around. Might as well take them. I already completed my fossil collection, so at this point it's just... They're just money buried on the floor at this point. Over here we have a graveyard take, being taken over by flowers. You guys want to know what's buried here? You'll have to come visit. Can I visit your island? Said Zillow King. Yeah, I might open it soon. Right now, um, I want to get the beetles, and uh, the spawn rate for for bugs is like a lot less when multiplayer. So I'm trying to like take advantage of single player spawn. Since they spawn faster and a lot more. Here you go. So this is what I did here. Gotta move the uh, the guards. The Nuki guards. Nuki. I got them all in here. They spoiled, unfortunately. I don't even know how many I have in total. I think it was like a thousand. Let's see. One, two, three. 5, 10, 11, 11, so like 210, might have been more, I think I took one and sold it, but yeah, also, let's see, I did this cool fence thing, you can't even climb up there, I had to use a glitch to get up there, like try to climb, it's dangerous to climb any higher, so I put fences like that to make it look like if you try to it make it look like if you try to climb up there with the fence, the game will be like it's dangerous to climb up higher and make make it look like it's warning you not to get up there because of the barbed wires. But it's like it's aesthetic. It's just can't climb up there in general. I try to put some lights to make it look like a prison. I don't know, this is me and my imagination is like, this is prison now. You turn it, are in jail. Let's see if Rose is crafting. Rosie, what you doing? Not doing anything, she's going to bed. Got to chat with you. I'm, um, I legit miss you. Have, have I been gone for that long? Holy cow, everybody's like really missing me. about to go to bed in a couple minutes Kit Kat is still hunting for bugs yo man I'm gonna join you oh I have this many weeds I completely forgot I have that many I was gonna start planting weeds but like a bit too many plants you just gonna keep it on me Still don't see any golden beetles. Golden beetles. Or scarabs for that matter. This bug hunt is turning out to be a huge flop. A really big flop. Okay. We'll be the buggies. You're not what I want. Bring in the bugs! Come on! Bugs! The good ones. Golden scarab. Um. Ah, oh, they don't show up. It's so frustrating. 
Let's see if I can get a, a scarab by wandering around here. The scarabs appear in regular trees. I have so many trees, why are they not spawning? Ooh, that is not a golden. I went to the extra trouble of planting a bunch of palm trees here. Try to get higher spawn rate on them. But I'm not being very lucky so far. Hey, Nikki! How are you doing? How are you feeling today, Nick? Nick the Geek. Hmm. Hunting down bugs. Oh, that's. No, that's not it. Another one? <laughs> the song is not helping! <laughs> Another revile thing. Oh man, messed up. Oh man. Didn't even want it anyways. Have any of you gotten the vampire squid yet? Pretty cool. So you catch vampire squids, they appear at night. So you catch them, they start glowing. They don't have the same effect in the museum though, it's kind of sad. I'm not gonna get another one. Although they do leave at the end of this month, so I probably might not get another one. But I would like to get another one, like put it like around here. Like, I mean, like right here or something. Just for decorating purposes. Because they look so cool how they glow in the dark. At night. Hmm. Where are you? Mm, random bugs that are not beetles or scarabs. Well, I mean, they're beetles. They are not golden beetles or scarabs. Yeah, I can't believe today actually marks the 100th day that I play this game. Holy cow. The thing that I've gotten on Animal Crossing 100 times already. How many hours have I put in this game? I don't even know how many hours have I put in this game. Oh, a friend request? Send me a friend request. I have uh see Ted sounds familiar. I feel like I played with him before. Maybe he sh I don't I think that was one of the viewers I played with the other day. Not much. Anyway, I wanna see how many hours I put in Animal Crossing. I put almost four hundred hours, wow. That's quite a lot. A lot more than Mario Kart. Well I mean Mario Kart would have more, but it's just mm, the majority of the time I put in Mario Kart is in Mario Kart eight on the Wii U. That it is on the Switch. But yeah. Almost 400 hours I have played Animal Crossing. How about you guys? How many hours have you guys played on Animal Crossing? If you have, if you're able to look, anyway. Free to, feel free to share. I'd be interested. I know some people have put like a lot of hours. I think some people might actually already gone past a thousand hours. Like it's insane. Like, what did they do? Like, leave their switch on all the time? I, I, I know that I've read, or rather, I heard some people say that they every day they would wake up, play Animal Crossing, and then do the daily stuff, the daily routine. So they made like playing Animal Crossing part of the daily routine. So, like, every morning. I used to do that when I first got the game, the first month I used to do that. Every day. Through the entire month of April. Hey, Olivia's crafting. Through the entire month of April, every day I will like play Animal Crossing and spend hours just playing Animal Crossing. I am interested. What are you doing? Well, you see, I'm working on a golden seat. Oh, I actually got that from a friend the other day. 
and also repeat. Because I need to Sure do. Oh, whoever comes to Miami gets a golden seed as well. So that's the second golden DIY you get to throw on the floor. I'm pretty sure I got a golden seed already. Oh, I got a slate too. I'll throw that. Got too much stuff on me. Again. So let's do a let's do a, a chat boss. Type exclamation boss to join the quest to fight another chat boss. Will we get a strong boss? Will we get a weak boss? We never know. The more players join, the better. And the greater the challenge. You also get some money for it. Some chibi coins that you can redeem on the avatars. Get some cool avatar stuff. New avatars, new hats and colors. Duel against other people. Just show off your swag, man. Do it up. Um, hmm. Let me drop my sleigh. Funny. All right, so back to more golden, more golden beetle. It's Waddle What? Waddle doesn't do anything though. Poor Waddle I didn't mean to Waddle I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Waddle have you seen- can you guys- how many Kirby games have you guys played? You guys like Kirby? Would you like Kirby? And did you know that if you have online membership, you can actually play up to four free Kirby games? It's Kirby Adventure. There's Kirby Avalanche. Wait, is it Avalanche? Actually, I mean, probably not Avalanche. There's Kirby Adventure, Kirby's um, Dream Curse, Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Land 4. I mean, 3. Kirby's Dream Land 3. And then there's Super Kirby Clash. So that's five. Five free Kirby games you can play on the Switch if you have a uh, membership. Pretty neat, huh? But you didn't know there was so much Kirby in the game. Another one of those. And I wasn't even running, okay. Whatever. I guess you really have to like really tip it toe towards those guys or they'll fly off. Beatles. The, the, the Beatles. Hmm. Guys, should I open my gate now? <laughs> I'm getting really tired and bored of pacing back and forth for Beatles that don't even want to spawn. Like this, the spawn rate for these Beatles are ridiculous. They don't. They won't show up. It's just ludicrous, like, seriously? What do I have to do to get me to spawn? Come on! Look, I keep getting more of these guys. Why do they have to be specifically palm trees? Though being on regular trees doesn't even help because the scarab won't even show up either. Am I just having really bad luck? I might just be having really bad luck. Hello! Scarabs! Where are you? Come out! I wanna catch you. 
Go to Ian the museum where you live forever. Yo, I might I wanna get a new a new cat villager. I don't have enough cat villagers. I need more. I'm still missing at least two more. We have the entire Neko Yumi collection. I mean, I've been using amiibo cards to get the cats, and I do still have one cat left that I haven't used, which is Kabuki. I don't really want Kabuki. <laughs> he's not... He's really creepy. For all the face paint and stuff. Where be... The scarab. I should go to uh, someone's island where there's like a lot of palm trees and see if I get lucky. Scarab. Scarab, please. I should probably Google to see what, what conditions. Do they need conditions? Am I doing something wrong? We have too many things in my island. I'm losing my mind here, guys. I'm losing my mind. They won't show up. I'm going crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. <laughs> Just a regular drone beetle. quitting if I don't if I don't see a, a golden beetle now I'm rage quitting what the heck why two of them oh, really this game is mocking me with freaking hermit crabs oh hi mark said starry caps Into the movie. Um, who is Mark? Interesting. I don't know who Mark is. Said. <laughs> Hello, Karma. Hello, Stericats. I've been losing my mind trying to hunt down the Scarab and the Golden Beetle. They don't spawn. I don't think they exist. I think this game has two bug slots that are meant to stay empty forever. This bug, the scarab, and this bug, the golden beetle, they don't exist. Actually, the scarab might be this one. I don't even know what this one is. Feels bad, man. Oh, this one. Said. Starry cats. Actually, yeah. I don't know. I don't think this is a scarab. They don't exist. They don't exist. They don't show up. I've been pasting back and forth for like an hour. I am back. <laughs> said Zillokin. Hey Zillokin. Welcome back. We were talking about earlier, we were talking about futuristic animal crossings, guys. And we came out some with some really weird ideas, like Animal Crossing, um What was it? Elder Center? I forget. It was something about- oh. That's it! I'm done! <laughs> that was the Golden Beetle! Ah, uh, when I don't pay attention, that, that happens. Karma. Oh my god, that was the Golden Beetle. That was definitely Golden Beetle. That was very yellow. I'm just gonna jump off the bridge. Like, literally. That's it. I'm just jumping off a bridge. Farewell, cruel world. Well, said, Zillow King. 
I still oh need gosh, the golden that... stag and probably something else and the nap fish off the pier. Said. Starry cats. Rip. The golden Said. stag. Starry cats. Yeah, that's the golden beetle. That's what I'm looking for. The golden stag beetle. And I just scared one away after spending an hour pacing back You and missed forth. your golden opportunity. <laughs> Said. <laughs> Karma. Uh, <laughs> this is how I feel like now. That's me internally. I'm just screaming really loud internally, man. Oh my gosh. And I just remembered the name. It was like Animal Crossing Senior Center. That's what I was trying to remember. As I scare away the. I got mine, so I beetled you to it. Said, Karma. Well, you don't have the the scarab yet. Scarab appears between 11 p.m. and 8 a.m. On regular trees, not on palm trees. They're even harder to find for some reason, even though regular trees are like a lot more abundant around the island than palm trees. Like, what the heck is he doing? I got one also. Said, Zilloking. I have a lack of patience, but the fish will be gone next month, so. Said, <laughs> Starry Cats. Yeah. Which fish? Yeah, which fish Said, are you talking about? Karma. So Karma has the golden beetle. And Zillo King also. Man, am I the only one who doesn't have it? I feel like it's good. I keep find I, it keeps spawning me freaking um hermit crabs. Please, game. No more hermit crabs. Look how many hermit crabs Napoleon I got already. Fish. And said Starry Cats. All the Napoleon fish. They're said karma. They're not I have to go to have fun with, with the rest of this either. stream. Said Texas Man 21. How does one get that? Oh, okay. Said karma. Thanks for um, thanks for joining Texas Man. See you next time. By the way, you guys can join the VC if you want. Um, karma and Seri Cats. I'm on VC and Discord, so if you want to like VC with me, you're welcome to do so. And make fun of me live. <laughs> the pier, I believe, said Starry Cat. The pier, I don't. Let me check. I can tell you right now. Let me check. I don't know if the Napoleon fish appears only in the pier. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, it's a pier gotcha. regular in the sea. Said Karma. It, it appears in the sea, so it means it, it show up any part of the shore, not just the pier. Uh, I'll just look for a big fish everywhere. Also, it only shows up between uh. Well, all day pretty much only during the daytime between 4 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m. 4 a.m. 8 p.m. so all day as long as you're doing it at daytime you'll be fine you should be able to find one at i have point. a napoleon fish said zillow king oh look at that another hermit crab oh my gosh so many of them How many hover crabs am I gonna have before I finally get the golden beetle? Where's the guys? Help me. Send help. Send help. Too many hermit crabs. So I got the Napoleon. It doesn't fish. he always oh. tell you though? Whoa! Said Starry Cats. I mean I, I already have a fish him, burrito. So. Said fish Karma. burrito. Does it say pier on yummy. the tuna? Said Starry Cats. Does it say pier on the tuna? Uh, I don't think I have a tuna. Did I miss a tuna? I don't think I have I a tuna. I am building so an aquarium in my house. Said. Well, it does say pier. Located? Like, see in the bottom location, it says pier for the pier fish. The location for the blue marlin is pier. The giant trevally is pier. The mahi mahi is also the pier. Those are the only f pier fish I got. I don't know if there's any more pier fish. Maybe the tuna might be a pier fish also, but I'm not sure. But yeah, these are pier fish. Pier! So yes, they do say pier if they're from the pier only. The Napoleon fish is not in the pier. It's everywhere in the sea, so you don't need to restrain yourself only to the pier. Like it tells you river... River... It tells you all this stuff. 
And the ponds. Let me see if I can find a pond fish. Renes here. I want two aquariums. Said Zillow King. There you go, pond. Let's see, it tells you pond. So it tells you different stuff. So. I want two aquariums. Oh, you're building an aquarium in your house. Set. Nice. Karma. The aquarium in the museum is nice. It's true. But you know, it doesn't have that homemade feel. You go in, in the house, you add like those underwater, um, the underwater wallpaper and floor. And then you just keep your lights off and turn nothing but all the lights on from the, the fishes, you know? And then it just looks cool. I know. I drop water. Hold on. Do I check the secret beach? Yeah, there's nothing there. Oh, even if it was there, it's like 2 a.m. So I don't know when Red leaves. What time he stays on the. On... <gasps> That's a freaking little libido. Gosh dang it. Yo, I swear, if you give me another hermit crab, don't get mad. I don't want any more hermit crabs. Oh! Is that a be golden beetle? I don't know. It looks like it might be. Oh, please! Let it not be a freaking rainbow stag. <gasps> yes! Finally! Yeah, yeah, Woo! My thing. Okay, then. Finally! So, the golden stag! Oh my gosh! Yes, I, I finally got, got it! Silence. Said. Does this mean I can't retire now? Can I retire? That's a good question! <laughs> Oh my gosh, finally! Oh, my soul can rest. Oh, Said. I got Karma. it. I finally got oh, it. Oh, hey, nice. I'll go ahead and put it Said. over here now. Karma. Now I need a scarab! So, part one is complete. Imagine if I accidentally release it. If I accidentally release Time it, I end the stream and I'll never play Animal Crossing again. Said. Karma. Look at them. Big boy and little boy. Hey, buddy, how you doing up there? How's it holding up? I'm doing all right. You sure? Cause uh, I've been here for a while. I'm telling you, it's not gonna go well. I put Godzilla what? in my house. I am about to put the robot huh. in there also. You're about you're Said. about to see things Zilla, you okay. never wanted to see in your life. This ain't the bug life. Trust me, you want out. Hey, you're scaring me, man. You're scaring me. What are you guys talking about? Like, you're probably crazy. <laughs> Got Silla in your house. Oh yeah, those really big furniture you can put in your house. Guys, I gotta look for the scarab now. They're in regular trees. Those are not gonna be... This is gonna be another big headache, isn't it? Oh, I'm just gonna pace around in circles here to see if they don't find anything. What is that? Is that a cute thingy? Not a cute thing. I guess we have like four of them, so I'm gonna stick them out. I don't remember who I gave them to. Ooh! Oh, get over here. An Emperor. Emperor Butterfly. They sell for a really good price. Okay, they need to get rid of all of this. Starry Cats. Blob fear. <laughs> Why? Cause I'm whispering with the bugs. Hey, Punchy and Bob do it all the time. They got bug friends. Why can't I? Hmm. All right, let's drop this here. Oh. So, um, come on, scarabs. Hi, Manny. Scarabs. What's centaur. up? May Centaur. I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? Stop whacking the box. How you been, Centaur? I'm been like hunting down bugs. Said, Centaur. Yes, yes. I am pretty good. Yeah, I get Said, Centaur. I'm gonna sell all my clay. Actually, no, I'll leave it. Actually, no, I'll sell it. Sell the clay. All my weed. 
until this. It's nice to see you, Centaur. I haven't been around for that for a while. Like it's been two months. I took a two months hiatus. Um, but now I'm trying to like do a couple streamings before I send my Nintendo Switch off for repair. I was supposed to do that m Monday, but uh, I've been going back and forth um, this week doing other things. My one of my cats just gave birth. My my pet cat Mitzi, who is actually a. Uh, she used to be a stray, but I found her when she was a kitten, and she's been living around the house ever since. She gave birth, so we've been tending to the kittens. And uh, I went voting, and uh, st other than that, regular stuff, you know. What is wrong with the now. Switch and Nysa Kitty? Said Centaur. The Switch, my Switch, um, the cooling system is glitching out. It's not working properly. Unfortunately. Also, let me look at this thing. That is ugly. Holy cow. Ah, said Centaur. But yeah, the, the cooling system is glitching out. Like, it's the fan is not cooling properly. It's like it's doing really loud noises, and every now and then it will stop and play again and stop and, and spin again. And uh, it, the switch is overheating. It's like heating way more hotter than, than normal. I bought an external cooler, but. That's not really helping as much because it still make it still gets a bit too hot. So I want to get it fixed. Which I find it weird because uh, I don't even play with the Switch that much. I don't know why that happened. Can I do the FFA? Said Centaur. Yeah. I can do the FFA. I think I have it set as a as a. As a, as a reward, don't I have a channel point reward? But you know what? Let's do all the- I mean- Kill them all, <laughs> said Centaur. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kill them all. You got it. Let's see if your avatar can do it. Alright guys, it's time for a free for all! Here we go. Oh my goodness, we got quite a quite a crowd today in the free for all station. So we're about to duke it all out in a last man standing win, brawl. Said Zillow King. And begin! They're all hopping on into the plane. Here they go. One by one they're disappearing. And the plane is coming by. Ooh, one of them might actually get lucky and pick up the star. Let's see if that happens. Oh, hold on. Why can't I hear the music? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, too late to cancel. It's too late! Everybody, it's already happening. It's already going. I don't know what happened with the music. Nikki might win this. Sterica, oh no. Oh, never mind. I thought Nikki was... I saw a wrong bar. I saw Nikki with a full bar, but it's actually Mike, the final boss! Oh my god, it's up to Mike now. Mike and Karma. Karma is going after Silo King. Oh my, Karma got hit with a critical hit I by did. Mike. And Silo King just picked up the health bar. Oh, said, Mike the boss. Centaur. Mike the final boss. Guys, he's literally become the final boss. Will Silo King be able to defeat the final boss? And that is almost a no. Almost a just who knows. Silo King is going for the health pack. Oh, he just managed to hang in there for a little longer. Oh, Silo King is just, he's just barely hanging. He's trying to get this. He's he's like waiting for another one to spawn. Oh, but if spawn in front of final boss. Oh, what bad luck. That's some really bad RNG. Silo King is still stalling for time, hoping he can get another another health pack. But it doesn't look like luck is on his side. Nope, final boss is going for the kill. And that's the end of Silo King. Mike, final boss, wins the battle. Congratulations, Mike, final boss. Oh, hold on, there we go. Congratulations, you are victorious. Guys, can you guys hear the music? Bro, the final I boss won. Said, Centaur. <laughs> the final boss won. I can't hear the music. Let me try to fix it. I don't know if you guys can, but I cannot. So I'm gonna fix that. Put my in. There we go. No, so I as you guys know, said, you don't hear it. Well, 
you should be able to hear it now, so it'll make the battle the battle more exciting. My sorry about that. I tried to cancel the match before it got too deep, but I wasn't able to. I did the wrong command. <laughs> So as you guys know, for those of you who are not new here, you already know the policy. We One match is not enough. We have to do two in a row. And if the bot wins, we get a freebie. So now you guys who are new to this and know. And we're about to start the second one. So get ready. Hold on to your seats because we're going for another free for all. And they're all hopping back on the plane. The plane of free for allness. And they're falling down. There it is, Terry Cats, Jimmy Manny, Nick, so the, Nick the Geek, Sid Turd, everyone else. I would automatically win. <laughs> no, that Starry doesn't work cats. that way. you still just be a mini boss. Oh my goodness, Nick is the first, the first victim to go down. And Chibi Manny and Centaur are not looking so good either. The Chibi Bot is gaining some major damage as well. Mike, final boss! Whoa, they're going after him! They're taking away his life! And Mike is gone! They just did not want to give Mike a chance. The Chibi Bot is going after Karma, and Karma got destroyed! He should have turned around and destroyed Chibi Bot, but no, he was determined to destroy the humans. Oh my god, Zilki! What is going on? He's dominating! Stericats is just clinging for her life! Stericats with the clutch! Yo! Stary Cats won! She just flipped around and ended in one punch! Consider this the one punch cat, cause she just won it. <laughs> Woo! So close. That was that was crazy. I, I really thought Silo King had it. I really thought Silo King had it, but Stary Cats took the victory. That was that was like a really huge twist right there for me. Like I was convinced. That Steel King was gonna win. Congratulations, Mike Final Balls and Starry Cats. You two are the victors of this round of free for all. Now, back to our feature presentation. That ass rigged. Said Zillow King. <laughs> That's great. You almost had it, man. You almost had it. Starry Cats just turn around and yeah. sucker punch you right Said. there at the end. Starry Cats. <laughs> I mean, if you want to challenge her, just type exclamation battle and tag her name, and you can challenge her to a one-on-one -on -one duel. Her fun money. Said, All right. Cats. Thanks for joining, Starry Cats. Have a good day. I hope we can um, hang out again soon. All right, so back to the scarab hunting, guys. Also, while we're at it, why don't we do a boss battle? So let's type exclamation boss for anyone who wishes to fight a, stream, uh, a chat boss. It's a little boss that shows up in the chat. And uh, depending on how many people join, it'll be even stronger. So it's like a, a team battle, team effort. It's really interesting to see what different bosses, because they all have like different theme songs. I'd like to see what random boss will spawn. Um, let's find like, the Scarab Beetle now. It's the only thing I'm missing. I get a scarab beetle. I don't have to worry about August anymore. I'll be done with August. Come on, scarab. You appear in regular trees. I mean, it's gonna be so hard. Can you imagine if another golden beetle just shows up? It's the game say, "Ha! Oh, you can have another one. You ain't getting a scarab." It's just gonna be so sad. Beetle. 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 Whoa! Yo, Donkey Kong's gone bananas! We need to stop him! How many of us? Oh, and we won. We defeated Donkey Kong. Let's see. Three players join and the three of us survive. We barely survived too. Like 36 HP each out of like 150. Like Donkey Kong almost wipe us out. Yeah, don't mess with the ape. Have any of you? How many Donkey Kong games have you guys Game. played, and which one is Set. your favorite? Centaur. Like my favorite Donkey Kong game is um, Donkey Kong sixty four. It's just it's not something. Okay, almost played. decimated us. Said. Yeah, he almost Centaur. decimated us. Like. Never played DK. Said. Centaur. Have you never played any Donkey Kong game at all? Not even uh the new ones for the Switch. They're pretty fun, you should try them out sometime. I actually never played Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, which is the one that's on the Switch. 
Originally it no. was on Wii U, but Said. they ported Centaur. it to the Switch. It's pretty fun. I think it has co-op. I'm not really sure. But that's a fun way, a fun game to play co-op with friends and family. You guys, I'm I'm legit convinced I'm never gonna find a scarab. Like I gave, I was giving up on finding a, a golden beetle when I found it, but like a scarab, I I definitely don't see that happening in me at all. I played DK on the Switch. So Said, Zillow King. Oh, did you? I know that if you have the online subscription, you can play Donkey Kong Country on the SNES app on the Switch, which is a good classic game. If you want to go and play that, you can play competitive or co-op with a friend or a family member. You can also play it online. It has online play, which is pretty cool. My favorite, one of my favorite Donkey Kong games is Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. But the, it's on the GameCube only, but that's because of the bongos. But I hope, I really hope they port that one to the Switch. Because of the Switch, they can just make a, a, a bongo, bongo... Oh, that's like a feeder. Holy cow. But they can just make a bongo uh, accessory controller. For the switch, or well, you can just use it with the, the Joy Cons. Just shake them around. Cause in the in the GameCube you couldn't shake the controller, so it wasn't the same. But in the on the Switch, they can totally put it off. That's definitely a game they need to bring. I think they did actually they did port it to the Wii. There's no play control, so they totally could do it for the Switch. I mean, the Switch at this point has become like a a port machine. They're porting everything. What games do you guys want to see ported to the Switch? That's not on the Switch yet. Besides Fall Guys, because I want to play Fall Guys. I mean, I've just gone, gone seen Fall Guys, or I have played Fall Guys. Well, the game looks so much fun, I'm just kind of sad that it's yeah, not available on the Switch. Said. Centaur. Oh yeah, Super Mario Galaxy, an HD version. That would be great if they port like both Galaxy games and just have Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 HD. Remaster. That will be fantastic. They're saying that supposedly they're gonna be re releasing a Galaxy game on the Switch for the 35th anniversary of Mario, but I don't know. I'm Galaxy is my favorite game, so that is what I really want. Said. That's Centaur. a good choice. Though, uh, from all the Mario games, my favorite one is uh, definitely Super Mario Sunshine. I have like. I love some more sunshine. Team Fortress uh, 2. Said. Zillow Team King. Fortress 2. That's a pretty old one. Holy cow. That would be interesting. They could totally do that in the Switch as well. Team Fortress 2 would be co op. A lot of people still play that game, doesn't it? Because it has online. It's like really popular. But like, Mario Sunshine is my favorite because it has like so much. It requires like a lot of skill. It's definitely like. The one Mario game that is a lot more aimed for like poor gamers than it was casual gamers. Which is why they had to tone it down for the later games because uh, a lot of people couldn't actually master the jumping. It was way too complex. Some of them. I mean, it can totally be uh, uh, it can totally be played but casually as well. Uh, you just have a yeah. Have sunshine a was time. hard. Said, Centaur. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you play casual, a lot more casually... Ooh. Ooh, excuse me, it's random yawn all of a sudden. This game is too relaxing. But, Sunshine is a lot of fun. Super Mario 64, it's another game that I returned. Like... Said, Karma. Whoa! Karma has returned! Hold on, hold on. Welcome back, Karma. I am hunting for beetles for the scarab, to be specific. What is this from again? No Said, Centaur. Yay, sounds about right. Said, Karma. Lol. That song Said, is the Karma. That song That's is the WeChop channel song. Said, 
Yeah, it's a the WeChop channel theme. It's back when the WeChop was still around before it closed down. But yeah, so it's a WeChop channel. Pretty popular around the meme community, I guess you could say. Along with the me, me channel music. Oh, I thought I recognized it. Said. Centaur. Yeah. It's a really catchy song. And I got some good memories browsing around the Weed Shop channel. It's a really good shop. Really sad that it's gone. I had a lot of, a lot of unique games that you, you cannot find anywhere else. They were like, just exclusive to the Weed Shop channel. There was this weird game where it was kind of like Splatoon, but with water guns. So it's like, it's like beta Splatoon, I guess you could say. It's not a Nintendo game, so it doesn't really, obviously it's not really Splatoon, but it was kind of similar to Splatoon. And it was on the Wii, way before the Wii U. And like, you play as kids and you shoot water gun at each other. It wasn't actually that good of a game, but yeah, Pokemon it Rumble seems was like you could play it for a good laugh. Said. Pokemon Rumble. Okay, so I bought that game. I went. I. The thing with the Wii Shop is that you have to like buy Wii points. And uh, at one point, they announced that they were gonna like not allow people to buy Wii points anymore. So I spent a hundred dollars to get a hundred Wii points. I mean, a thousand, not a hundred. A thousand Wii points, or ten thousand? I don't remember. I think it might have been ten thousand. Either way. One thousand, I think one thousand Wii points was like ten dollars. So I spent a hundred dollars and I got ten thousand Wii points, just so I could buy a bunch of games that I really wanted to get. And uh, I did get a lot of the games I wanted. Like I got um, Pokemon Rumble, definitely a must-have back in the day. It's a real shame that is there's like no way to play it now. This is a really good game. And especially for player co-op, it's so much fun. Well, I hope I hope they get um, ported to the Switch at some point. Hopefully, I'm mean, considering Club how Nintendo uh, said Centaur. Yeah, Club Nintendo. That's where I got like there were like three Wii games that were exclusive to Club Nintendo. It was a um, Doc Lewis Punch Out, Grill Ultra, Grill um, Grill Off with Ultra Hand, which I actually have. I miss Club Nintendo. Said. And something else. Karma. Club Nintendo was so much better than my Nintendo. It's so sad how badly Nintendo of America is like treating my Nintendo. Club Nintendo was the best. Said. Yeah, it Centaur. was. Cause uh, you go to my Nintendo of Japan, they have so much cool stuff. A lot of physical stuff. Just like my Nintendo of Japan is like Club Nintendo, but better. However, my Nintendo in U.S. and Europe is like so crap. Actually, Europe is slightly better than, than my Nintendo in the U.S. because uh, they get a few extra goodies over here, over there, that we don't get over here in uh, my Nintendo U.S. But just not by much. It's just like one or two things. But other than that, it's the same. And it's really sad. Like. They don't even bother. They're not even bothering. I don't. I don't really get it. Like, at one point, remember at one point when they put um the icon of getting free games for the Switch, and they said coming soon, and then they just like changed their mind and removed it and decided to change the price of the gold coins. It's like now you get one gold point equals one penny. So if you get, and you can only get sixty gold points or less depending on the game. For each game like so you buy a game you only get 60 gold points you're getting just 60 pennies nothing costs 60 cents on the eShop I remember being mad at so, how cool the stuff on Club Nintendo in Japan was better but I am still glad Club Nintendo exists said oh yeah Centaur the best thing about Club Nintendo the posters. They have some really cool posters. I actually have all the Super Smash Bros. 4 posters from the Club Nintendo. The really cool one. They showed off like all the characters and stuff. And I got a couple other cool posters. I also got the the music Existed, CD they I were say, giving out. Said, Centaur. Yeah. I remember when they were handing out the the free Mewtwo DLC for registering both Smash Bros. games. Man, I am 
not having any luck with any any tree bugs at all. They're like not spawning. I wonder if I have because I have too many flowers. Doesn't the flowers affect the, the spawn rate of bugs? Yo, so my Nintendo, I mean Club Nintendo, one of the hardest things was to try to reach platinum platinum status. Because the cool thing I like about it is that you could register all your games and it'll give you points. And uh, I remember that before my Nintendo um, Club Nintendo was a thing, it was uh, something else Nintendo from back in the day. And the thing is, when you change to Club Nintendo, you can still register some of those really old games. GameCube games or N64, Game Boy Advance, like, all those games. You can still register. They wouldn't give you any points or anything, but they will be like registered to your account. Just, I don't know, just cuz I guess. But, so you, the more red, the more red games you register, the, the new ways that get you points. You can like, keep saving up your points and you get platinum status. So you can get that really rare figurine of Mario and, and all the other characters just in one figurine. It was like a, a figurine that had like Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Bowser, and Toad. And they were all just standing there waving. That was a figure, like a statue figure. It was pretty big too. And you could get those if you reach platinum status. But it was so hard to reach platinum status in my, in my Nintendo. And if you didn't do it in time, you lose the, all your that points. That sounds amazing. All your points said centaur yeah because there was a time limit an expiration date for your points and once it reached you have to like basically start over that was the one downside about starting over because eventually it gets to the point where you're not buying any more new games so you have nothing to register yo i'm gonna donate this bugs i'm gonna donate this bugs real quick I'm not, I'm not, nothing spawning in, in the trees. This is worse than getting the golden beetle. At least for the golden beetle, a lot of bugs were spawning around the palm trees. Let's see what he has to say. Good evening, man. Welcome to the Nicky Museum. I'm here to make a donation. Marvelous, what do we have to donate? An elephant horn beetle. Yeesh! A horned elephant! What a wretched thing! Tell me what you have knowledge sharing with me. The horned elephant beetle certainly lives up to its namesake. Not only does the horn on its head resemble the trunk of an elephant, it is also one of the heaviest beetles in the world. Size aside, allow me to reveal the real reason of fine horn elephant beetles so repugnant. Their backs are covering a fine coat of hair. Is it beetles? What? The horror? Maybe hood. No, there wasn't much to say about that guy. So they're hairy. They have a hairy back. Well, that's my grandpa. I don't know, actually. I never look at my grandpa's back. <laughs> it's just weird when you go to your grandpa's house and grandpa's walking around shirtless. Like, that's the one sight you never expect to see. It's shirtless grandpa. So does my grandpa, no. said Centaur. <laughs> Harry Grandpas. <laughs> I don't know why, that sounds like a like a rock band for like elder, uh, uh, a group of elder people like decide to make a band. It's like, yo, let's make a band. We could be rocking better than the youngsters nowadays. And they just call it Harry Grandpas. And they just rock and playing guitar and all the instruments with without shirts. Full of beard and stuff. Rocking grandfathers. Please tell me about the gold beetle. Yes, yes. The golden stack beetle is quite a price thanks to its metallic gold. That has color. such an accurate representation. <laughs> said Centaur. <laughs> I know, right? Harry Grandpa's. Let me speak plainly. The gold stack is not made of gold. It is made of bug. No, really? I didn't know. It went through, and thus it is vile. Golden stack? Bah. 
Gross tag is more like it. I think I really hate bugs. Why oh, you gotta hate them bugs, man? Don't you eat those? It's kind of weird that a, a, an owl, whose main food source, other than rats, is bugs, hates bugs. It's really ironic. I did not He's so prejudiced there. against bugs, said <laughs> Centaur. Hate bug people, man. Hey, Tommy's in here. What are you doing, Tommy? Might as well look at the beetles. I'm over here. They're all just chilling there. Fighting each other. Place your bets, everybody. Will the top beetle win or will the bottom beetle win? Going once. Go I bet the bottom one is going to win. Actually, I'm kind of rooting for the top beetle. Top beetle. You can do it. Go. Go. Yeah, the top beetle won. Good show. All right. Where even is the gold beetle? Oh, I know where they are. Unless it was in that group, I didn't see it. Also, here. why does TTS sound like a nerdy girl? Like according to my calculations, said Centaur. <laughs> no, like it's TTS. Okay, I have TTS set so everybody gets randomly a different voice. Unless it's one of the one of the viewers, the VIP viewers that I gave him a nickname, then they have like a fixed voice. But mo everybody gets random voice. So if you were to like le like refresh the page, like le disconnect from the chat and reconnect again, you most likely get a new voice. Maybe but everybody gets re different random voices. Like the pitch and the speed of the voice will be different for everyone. No, you don't need you don't need some cockamamie what the never heard that word before cockamamie what is that actual word cockamamie okay i'm be throwing some gibberish at me that s weird i don't mind the voice it just sounds like that lmao said centaur <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, people be getting. I mean, sometimes it will, it will give some real voices. Like it will be someone who speaks at a high pitch voice and really fast. And I'm, I'm like, can barely catch what it says sometimes because of how fast it goes. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I just. It sounds like an animal, like a, from Animal Crossing, from how fast it goes. Somewhere. It's like TTS, please. Your point, your whole sole purpose and job is to let me know what people are saying because I cannot look at the game screen and a, the, a chat at the same time. And then he's gonna confuse me with his weird voices at strange speed. Come on, don't do that to me. TTS is Timmy nice. confirmed, said Timmy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you said Timmy. I thought you said Timmy from, from uh, Undertale. Timmy is a quiet guy. Hello, everybody. Like, Timmy... Okay, so Timmy... I don't know. Like, it's funny because when Timmy talks... He talks in the background because Tommy's always like... Wait. Wasn't Tommy the, the, the older brother and Timmy? No, Timmy's the older brother. Actually, I'm really confused now. I don't remember which one of them was the older brother. Timmy and Tommy. I think it was Tommy, the younger brother, and Timmy, the older brother. Wasn't it? I S N T Timmy, the one who talks more, said Centaur. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I think too. Timmy is the older brother. The older brother is always the one that's always talking. Like, because he's always in the front. So like if you talk to Timmy, if you talk to the younger brother Tommy, it, then then like Timmy's the one who's like in the background all shy. Cause it's not really shy, it's just like them being muffled off by the the other brother's voice. That's kind of what they're trying to like emulate when they do that. But yeah. Man. 
I'm trying to find the scatter beetle, and I am this close to giving up. Might just switch the game to something else. Whoa! Another elephant. Let's catch it. Catch it. Catch the elephant. Whoop! Oh yeah! I caught a horn elephant. I think it's too small to run. Do you want my dream code? Said Centaur. You just reminded me about that. I have not done that yet. Let's go do it. <laughs> I have not like done if you the want dream break, thing yet. Said Centaur. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. I haven't done mine yet. I don't even have a dream code yet because I haven't actually visited Luna yet in the dreams. I have not gone to sleep. I keep forgetting the update happened. I'm gonna do that. Cause uh, I don't think I'm gonna catch a beetle anytime soon. Like, what time is it in the game? It's 2 a.m. almost. My gosh, it's been two hours and a half streaming now, and at least I got one out of the two beetles I need. So it's not half a waste. All right, I'm gonna go to sleep, guys. switch up gotta get I gotta get the mood going <laughs> gotta get the mood going we're sleeping I'm gonna finish somewhere, something on right? my island, then I'll, I'll update my dream code and send it. Said. Okay. Centaur. This is a bad idea. Hold on. This is a bad idea. Because uh, I remember it shows. It, it's gonna put me with whatever I'm wearing. Alright, hold on. I got a better clothes for this. There we go. No, with this. I have to visit Luna. I'm gonna sleep. Should I get some sleep? Oh no, I pressed down by accident. Dang it. Yeah, I went to sleep. You look very cool, but you'll have to undo your transformation. Gosh dang it, I can't even do it with transformation uh, clothes. That was a waste of time. I'll just go with what I have on. Yeah, I want to sleep. I have never done this. This is the first time I do this. I completely forgot about it. Whoa. So magical. It's Luna. I am not mistaken, you are from Nekoyume, yes? You must be the famous many. How did you know? Mm -hmm. You dream as pleasantly as those from Nekoyume. Forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. My name is Luna. Think of me as a guide to the Library of Dreams. Library of Dreams? Um, a dream is but a manifestation of a memory that one holds dear, then chooses to upload to the internet. Oh wow, really? Allow oh, is to ferry to fairy travelers between dreams. Allow, allowing one such as you to tour the islands of distant strangers. Once within the dream of another, it will be as though you have actually set foot on their island. How oh, fascinating, does it not? It is another dream. Merely say to me, I want to dream. This need to be a one-way matter either. Oh, this need not be a one-way matter either. If you wish, I can collect your dream of Nekoyume as well. Then I will spirit your dream through channels of fiber optics to live it, to live it in the library and be shared with the world. But simply to share your dream of Nekoyume with others. Tell me, 
I'd like to share a drink. Oh, well, now that we have the introductions out of the way, oh my I be of assistance! What's your dream? What's your dream? Where am I? I want to wake up. Sure, I want a dream. Of course, of course, but there are a few things I must clarify further before I guide you to your dream. Dreams, like many things these days, are downloaded from the internet. Oh. <laughs> So if I have a, I want to have a nice dream, I gotta download a dream so I can, like, dream like a very pleasant dream. I want to have one of those nice vivid dreams where I'm at the beach relaxing. I gotta download for an. A connection is of course required. Furthermore, a dream address and identity you need to each dream is also needed. So before dreaming, be sure you have your desired dream address at the ready. Oh. One other thing, uh, one other wrinkle. Dreams are very fragile things to preserve the introduction of glitches. You must go empty handed. Oh, to prevent the introduction of glitches. You must go empty handed. Do not worry, I will happily hold on to your belongings and return them after you wait. Wait, but if I'm asleep and dreaming, how can I really have my belongings? Shouldn't that all be in like my actual body? Like, in my house? What? Makes a sense. Really weird. I believe that covers everything. Now, are you ready to link with the Library of Dreams? Yes, I am. And I shall connect to the internet to initialize a dream download. Oh, I'm downloading a dream, guys. I'm going to someone else's dream. I'm about to visit a random island for the first time. Let's see what we encounter. What is the dream address for your desired dream? I don't have one. Wait, do I need a dream address? I can't just randomly join someone's dream? Oh shoot, I thought... Because in the 3DS, you could just randomly choose and it would just... Okay, well, let's see if I can find a dream address on Discord somewhere. Let's see if someone posted a dream yeah, address. Yeah, I need a dream code. Said. I didn't Central. know. Okay, I got Texas Man's dream address, so I'm just gonna... This is Texas Island, which I've already been to multiple times. Maybe I should visit someone else. <laughs> nope, he's the only one who has posted dream addresses. I gotta make sure this is a New Leaf dream address and not a... I mean, a uh, New Horizons dream address, not a New Leaf address. I can give mine in a minute, said Centaur. Sure. This is your island. 9280. Thank you. One moment, Wills. I browse the library of and dreams. Well, I guess we'll be visiting Texas New Island. There is no dream file to that dream address. Oh, what? Did I mess it up? Did I mess it up? Let's try again. Zero four zero eight. Wait, the dream address like the, the dream towns disappear or something after a while. Deleted it. No, said Centaur. Okay, yeah, I must have done a typo. Like you said, it might be a new leaf. O N W. Said, Centaur. Yeah, no, One. It, it's from New Horizon. Said. I did a typo. Centaur. I must have typed a wrong number. You provided appears to be island called Saint Ted. Yep. Said. Splendid. Did everything sort of. Please close your eyes and relax. Yo, Texas man is not even here. It'd be so funny if he comes in and sees me in his island. He's like, how are you in my island? I don't even have my gate open. I'm like, dude, I'm a magician. A master hacker. Hacked into your switch without you realizing it. I like the loading icon. That would be bunch funny, roses. said Centaur. Yeah, that's a really cool effect. 
Now open your eyes. They are not in a deep slumber, they are peacefully of an island named St. Dennis. When you wish to wake him from his urn, you need only lay down in this bed. I will take care of the rest. Also, should you have any questions or need advice about dreams, please do not hesitate to ask. And with that, may your dream of St. Dennis be a sweet one. Yeah, it, ha it has like this blurry effect on the sides. Too. Or maybe it's just me, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Music sounds strange. There isn't much I can do on a dream rather than just visit, right? Because I don't think you can buy or do anything. Due to unusual sequences, if we will be close today. Not available this time. Okay, let's do it here. Oh, they will go. Oh, you can actually read people's. Okay, I want to be careful. Don't go into someone else's island and find some not safe for work stuff there. Yo, this is really cool. I got my money though. Wait, can I pick up my money? Can I drop my money? Oh no, if I wake up, do I lose my money? <laughs> Get over here. Scary dog. I can run all over Texas man's flowers. And he can't say nothing about it. <laughs> Trample all of them. Drop all the flowers. I am evil. Able sisters is close. Everything's close. Try it, lol. Said Zillow King. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Dropping the. Dr leaving money money behind like that. Yo, look at this house! The only thing that's missing is the, the, the crowd sound effect. Yo, this is really cool. Holy cow. This is just a dream. Nothing we do really matters, right? I could even sing big band and pull it off. Sure. You say so. Isn't the mood here just different? It's a nice change of pace from their usual modeling gigs and auditions. Can I sleep on these? Isn't this like beds? Yes, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Yo, this house is really cool. There's no music though, it's kind of bizarre. Apparently music don't play in dream houses or something. Hmm. Guess not. Yo, I might try. I might like leave like a hundred bells and see if I lose it. My code ISDA four eight one 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 nine three eight eight two one seven. Said Centaur. I'm gonna leave. From whenever you re ready. Said. Centaur. I'm gonna like leave it like right here. Oh. There we go. Wait, can I throw away stuff in the trash here? Oh, it doesn't activate. Well, I guess that's a no. No, it doesn't activate. Alright, so if there's not 200 uh, bells there when I wake up, then that means I do lose stuff. I'm gonna go fat. I'm gonna eat all these apples. Mm. Oh, yeah. There's like this echoey sound playing with the sound effects and the music in the background. Meaning that dream illusion. Oh, yeah, I'm getting fat. Getting high on apples. Yeah, apples. Oh, yeah, apples. I mean, getting high on apples. Woo! I'm just gonna go crazy, do whatever I want. Stripping your flowers, man! Whoa! I can't even catch bugs in that He's high, said Centaur. <laughs> I'm high in apples, man. I can visit Texas Man's house, see what he has. I can't climb! 
No! Why didn't they let us have ha ladders? I can't climb! That's just rude! They should at least leave me the ladders in my pocket. Avoid glitches. The only glitch here is that I can't get up to this higher level. Can I? Could oh, I'm well, gonna try that. Cicada. A lot of apples going on around here. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so... Whoa! It's just... What? It's just walking around? Is that Texas man? Also, when you find me, you might not want to talk to me. My comment is kind of censored, but I DK if as much as you would like. Said. Centaur. Howdy. Oh, you can actually leave a comment? I didn't know that. I didn't know you could, like, make a custom c comment for uh, your character. Kind of like the in the first Animal Brother one, you can make, like, a custom welcome set. Uh, Custom welcome message. Why does he have so many? Look at all the spiders. He has like a. It has the password comment. Said, Centaur. The password comment. I have no idea. I have since I've never been dream dream friends. I'm not familiar to how it works yet. Can't see inside this thing. Oh, can I craft things? No. Can well, there goes the idea of making, making myself on bug net. Though anything I pick up is probably not gonna be in my pocket. Passport. Sorry. Passport comment. Said. Centaur. Passport. Sorry. Passport comment. Okay. This is a new wallpaper. But oh, this is like he has like a three D. Effect and uh, must be a special wallpaper. It would be a lot better if the fireworks actually were like doing something instead of just looking like 3D, kind of. Yeah, it has depth. Whoa, whoa, is that is that happening only on my TV? Did you guys saw like some graphical glitches just now, or was it just just me? No, it's just me. It's just my TV. What the heck, TV? <laughs> that was weird. This is a cool bed, by the way. I've never seen this bed before. I, if I sleep here, can I? I wasn't you looking. If I sleep on the bed. Said. Zentor. No, it turns out it was just a graphical glitch on my TV. It was like HDMI was like a little loose or something. So, do you imagine if I lay down on this bed and I can fall asleep and have a dream within a dream? Animal Crossing Inception. Final. I'm not even gonna bother checking. That would the be funny. Down. I just said, Centaur. Yeah, it would be funny. A dream within a dream. Oh, this is just literally a closet back here. It's a walking closet. I like that sweater. That blue sweater over. There. Alrighty then, I think it's time to wake up. Can I wake up manually from over there? No, I don't want to report this stream. I'm not going to do that. So I actually have to walk all, over there, all the way over there to wake up. Okay, I'm going to pick some apples. You'll take me. Yeah, oh yeah, he has like a message here that says howdy. Howdy. D. See? Oh, my TV is going nuts over here. Come on.
Hello? There we go. Um, there's some serious technical difficulties happening on my end, my bad. Um, everything stopped working. Everything except for um, OBS. But my stream, my, uh, I don't know what happened. My Elgato went a little crazy. And although you guys could see it fine on my TV, it wasn't working right. So I unplugged the HDMI pl um, cable from my TV and it cost all the audio on the stream to just disappear. I don't know why. And now the guy, and now this is happening. Oh, hey, it's back. Why can't I see it? <laughs> what? Well, I have no feet on my team for some reason. It's not working. Oh, that's complete visual. I could play watching the computer, but it's so delayed, it's so difficult, and uh, unfortunately, because of this, I may have to like. Because for me to fix the problem, I will have to stop the stream. So I'm going to have to call it a day. So thank you all for joining me today. It was a, it was great seeing you guys again. It was great seeing you, Centaur. Um, it was great having you over here, Centaur. And same for you, um, Silo King. It was great having you. And thanks, Fight Final Boss, and, uh, for coming over and everyone else. I really appreciate it. Let's see if we can raid someone. How about we do a little raid? Um, who could we raid? Who might be live online right now that we could raid? Oh my gosh, it's raining outside. Okay, forget the raid, I gotta go. Um, the kittens, the newer kittens I talked about earlier are nesting outside because the mother cat gave birth to them. And like I said, is a, a stray cat that just kind of started living around my house. So I gotta go tend to them so they don't drown or something. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you all for coming and have a good day. Bye. See you next time.